Early on in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you'll arrive at Delphi and be presented with a crucial turning point in your Odyssey. In real life, Delphi was one of the most important sites in all of ancient Greece. At the Panhellenic Sanctuary of Apollo, worshippers from all over Greece would make pilgrimage to the hillside site and visit the High Priestess of Apollo, better known as the Oracle of Delphi. Delphi's religious significance is steeped in myth. As the story goes, Zeus released two eagles flying at identical speeds from the two ends of the earth. Those eagles crossed paths over Delphi, and so Zeus deemed it the center, or navel, of the world. Because of this, Zeus decided to place the omphalos, or belly button stone, that his father Kronos was tricked into eating at the site of Delphi. The thing is, the site wasn't always called Delphi. Back then, it was known as Pytho, and it was home to the fearsome python who guarded the stone and the original oracle. It wasn't until Apollo came along and defeated the python that the sanctuary was named Delphi and rededicated to him. You'll see references to this myth all over Greece in the statues of Apollo grappling with the python. And be sure not to miss the giant python skeleton just outside Delphi. The influence of mythic Pytho still remains long after Apollo's intervention. The ancient Greece didn't refer to the high priestess of Apollo as an oracle, but rather as the Pythia, a direct reference to the site's origins. The Pythia was one of the most important figures in the entire ancient world. Believed to have the power to speak to the gods and decipher the future, she could influence wars, politics, and culture more than any other individual. Delphi was also one of the four main sites to host the Pan-Hellenic Games, competitions between all of Greece. You know, like that thing they did every four years in Olympia? In Delphi, these were known as the Pythian Games. Games often included musical and theatrical contests as well. Be sure to visit the theater at Delphi when you visit it in-game or in real life. Unlike Roman theaters, which were typically semi-circular freestanding structures, Greek theaters often surpassed 180 degrees and were frequently built directly into the mountainside. During the 470 BCE Pythian Games, the tyrant Polyzalus emerged victorious in the chariot race. To commemorate his victory, he erected a bronze statue of a charioteer in Delphi. The statue is one of the finest examples of Greek lost wax bronze casting and can still be seen today at the Delphi Museum. Today, Delphi lies mostly in ruins, as little remains of the Temple of Apollo other than a few Doric columns. The best preserved building on the entire site? That would be the reconstructed Treasury of Athens. Treasuries were dedication offerings presented by individual cities to display their wealth and piety in comparison to other cities. Greek city-states were constantly in competition with one another. So when Athens, one of the wealthiest cities in the ancient world, erected their treasury built from the spoils of the Persian War at one of the most important religious sites in Greece, they attempted to show that they deserved Apollo's favor more than anyone else. Like many pilgrims before you, the things you learn and the people you meet at Delphi will change the course of your odyssey forever. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, available now.